If a union has a direct conflict with an employer, that employer is known as the primary employer. If the union targets another entity that does business with the primary employer to encourage that entity to pressure the primary employer, it's known as secondary picketing or a secondary boycott and is generally prohibited. But in Sailors Union of the Pacific, also known as Moore Dry Dock, the National Labor Relations Board considered whether union activity on a secondary employer's premises might nonetheless be permitted. Sailors Union of the Pacific represented the crew of a ship that regularly transported gypsum for the Kaiser Gypsum Company. Kaiser signed a new contract with Samsock, a Panamanian company, for Samsock's ship, the SS Fofo, to take over the gypsum transport. Samsock hired a non-union crew for the Fofo. Samsock hired more dry dock company to convert the Fofo into a gypsum carrier. The ship was docked at Moore's shipyard during the conversion. Samsock had no physical location in the United States. Under its contract with Moore, Samsock could place its crew on the ship during the last two weeks of construction. Union representatives contacted Samsock, asking to negotiate a contract covering the Fofo's crew. Samsock refused. The union asked Moore for permission to picket at the dock next to the Fofo, Moore refused. The union then picketed at Moore's shipyard gate because the picketers couldn't get closer to the Fofo. The picketers' signs declared that the Fofo was unfair to the union. When the picketing began, the Fofo's conversion was almost complete. Most of the new crew members were already aboard, performing their usual jobs. Moore filed a charge with the National Labor Relations Board alleging that the union was conducting secondary picketing on Moore's property. The trial examiner ruled for the union. Moore appealed to the board. 